Hi, my name is Marley Befu, and I'm doing motion analysis for a Cork 7 for my SportsMed 3 project. My client was Kai Collin. He is a high school student who is a competitive skier and a formal football player. His goal is to improve his Cork 7 for the slopes this ski season. For the testing, it will be done on a trampoline because there is no ski resorts open for him to be able to do his tricks. What is a cork 7? So a cork 7 is basically a 720 backflip. So the main points are you need to be very coordinated. Um, Kai does know how to do a backflip and he also does know how to do a cork 7 on skis. We are just working on his improvement for this upcoming ski season. Cork 7s can also be done on a trampoline which is what Kai will be doing for this program. Here is a video of a professional skier explaining how to do a cork seven on a trampoline. I know it seems like a lot to get to the, to get to the spot instead of just going for it, but it really helps with getting grabs. So you wanna focus on getting your hips up, coming up and then around, and you're on your back right here, and then look around forward. Again, I'm gonna show you how the cork looks. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna grab in it, I'm not gonna do anything like that, I'm just gonna show you a basic cork. Once you guys are really comfortable with that axis and doing the cork itself, you can start adding in grabs and start taking it to nine and doing other cool things with it, such as. Grabs like that. Kai's goals are to improve his technique, improve his windup, the rotation, and the grabs that he, are, he is trying to accomplish. In Kai's first attempt on doing the cork seven, he, um, his windup was pretty good. However, his shoulders were not connected with his body at all. He didn't complete a grab and he did not go fully upside down. In the pictures, you can see um, where I circled the him not grabbing, his shoulders not aligned with his head, and he's not fully upside down when trying to complete the cork seven. Um, I told Kai these corrections so he could keep improving and keep practicing for his next attempt. During Kai's second attempt, his windup was a lot better than his first attempt. He improved um, where his shoulder placement was when he was rotating. And as you can see in the video, um, he doesn't quite get upside down yet, but he does accomplish a grab, but it is a bit messy. So as you can see, his shoulders were a lot better for, uh, than the last one. He was more vertical to the ground and he did complete a grab. In Kai's final attempt, he, his windup was a lot better than his first and second attempt. His shoulders were connected with his head and his body. He does complete a grab, which is clear, and he goes fully upside down, spots his landing, and lands correctly. Compared to the two other attempts, this one was obviously the best one for Kai because he did improve his shoulder placement how um, vertical he was to the ground and his clear grab that was obvious when I was videoing it for him. From beginning to end, Kai's cork seven improved dramatically. By practicing, his trick got better and better. If Kai continues the program, his cork seven will improve for this ski season. So while I was implementing the program to Kai and giving him advice, he kept practicing and uh, he was very consistent with trying to improve. So his technique got a lot better by the end of the program, which is probably the main focus is consistency with 
motion analysis and trying to improve technique. Overall, Kai did a great job with the motion analysis and improvement of his Cork 7. So I hope the practice on the trampoline, trampoline will help him with his ski season and his competitions this year. Thank you.